Welcome to In Conversations With. I'm your host, Ashley Goodfellow. This video series is designed to give you, the Schulich student, an inside look at the specializations that Schulich has to offer. It can be difficult to zero in on one or two areas of focus. What specializations support my strengths? What career opportunities will I have? And how will a specialization give me that competitive advantage? In Conversations With, we'll answer these questions and give you a glimpse of how Schulich is leading the way. Join me as we speak with faculty and alumni about finance. In the finance area, we have two main areas that we kind of uh, present a, a stream of courses. So we've got our um, financial management, which is kind of corporate, and we've got our investments, which is uh, dealing with the management of assets. The two streams actually overlap, of course, a great deal, but the focus on the corporate side is really on managing an individual company and its cash flows, not so much on managing a portfolio. Uh, the investment side, it's all about abstracting from corporate management issues and thinking about how to manage a pool of assets. Well, you know, there's so many different roles you can take in the financial industry that it's hard to imagine a student that couldn't excel in some aspect. Uh, to get through our basic core courses, there's a little bit of math, but honestly, it's not very intimidating. I pursued finance. And I pursued finance because I believe finance is a very good broad-based um, specialization. I believe in running business, you can't escape the financial and the fiduciary elements of running a business. When I think of finance, I think of people that, uh, you know, if you've got a very narrow focus where you like to concentrate on details and think through problems very carefully, there's lots of roles in corporate finance, even uh, portfolio management uh, that require that kind of, uh, that kind of uh, focus and uh, patience. Whereas there are also many roles that really have uh, a much lighter touch on a lot of areas and require people who are good at integrating uh, issues from across areas. So ultimately, I um, was CFO and COO at Jones Apparel Group here in Canada, and from there took on the role of President and CEO. But again, my, my um, strength was always in understanding the processes and the numbers and the integration points and how what you do here is going to affect the ability to be successful in another department in another role and how ultimately all of this is going to come together and, and influence the bottom line. Coming out from a, a degree with a focus in finance leads kind of naturally to a couple of different career tra trajectories. There's uh, portfolio managers, uh, there's mutual fund managers, there's uh, personal investment advisors, there's personal wealth advisors, which are a different breed altogether. Um, there is um, backroom specialists who really focus on um, pricing options and derivatives and thinking of new innovative securities that, um, that would have some place in the marketplace. Um, there's, in the corporate sense, uh, moving into uh, the, the CFO's office in a corporation and helping to run uh, the day-to-day -day business of a corporation, managing cash flows and thinking about strategic issues that have to do with the debt and, and equity issuance. And there's the whole consultancy route, which uh, um, is very important in, our, in the industry and, and into our economies. If I have one bit of advice for anybody really embarking on a new career or an education path to take them into a career, it would be to keep your options open. And I believe finance is a fabulous degree, a fabulous specialization with its broad applicability so that you can use it no matter what path you ultimately decide to pursue. Thank you for watching. Join us again for another episode of In Conversations With. For more information, please contact the following references.